Test Preparation Civil Engineering Test Subject Irrigation Engineering Type Multiple Choice Questions Part 2 Question number 1 When a canal flowing under pressure is carried below a natural drainage such that its FSL does not touch the underside of the supporting structure, the structure so provided, is called Option A, Siphon Option B, Aqueduct Option C, Super Passage Option D, Siphon Aqueduct Answer is Option C, Super Passage Question number 2 Cross regulators in main canals are provided Option A, to regulate water supply in the distributaries Option B, to increase water head upstream when a main canal is running with low supplies. Option C, to overflow excessive flow water. Option D, none of these. Answer is option B, to increase water head upstream when a main canal is running with low supplies. Question number 3. An outlet is said to be proportional if its flexibility, is. Option A, 0. Option B, less than 1. Option C, more than 1. Option D, 1. Answer is option D, 1. Question number 4. In a canal siphon, the flow is. Option A, under atmospheric pressure. Option B, pipe flow. Option C, with critical velocity. Option D, under negative pressure. Answer is option B, pipe flow. Question number 5. For standing crops in undulating sandy fields, the best method of irrigation, is Option A, sprinkler irrigation Option B, free flooding Option C, check method Option D, furrow method Answer is Option A, sprinkler irrigation Question number 6 For smooth entry of water in a canal, the angle between head regulator and water is generally kept. Option A, 80 degree. Option B, 90 degree. Option C, 110 degree. Option D, 120 degree. Answer is option C, 110 degree. Question number 7. When a canal is carried over a natural drainage, the structure provided, is known as. Option A. Siphon. Option B, aqueduct. Option C, super passage. Option D, siphon aqueduct. Answer is option B, aqueduct. Question number 8. A current meter measures the velocity of flow, if it is held. Option A, on the surface of water. Option B, at the bottom of channel. Option C, at any point within the Cross section. Option D, none of these. Answer is option C at any point within the cross section. Question number 9. The downstream expansion head of a guide bank is extended to subtend an angle at the center, equal to Option A, 30 degree. Option B, 45 degree. Option C, 60 degree. Option D, 90 degree. Answer is option B 45 degree. Question number 10. In a concrete canal the approximate permissible velocity of water should not exceed. Option A, 0.5 meter per second. Option B, 1 meter per second. Option C, 1.5 meter per second. Option D, 2 meter per second. Answer is option D 2 meter per second. Question number 11. A minimum of 90 cm freeboard is provided if the discharge in the canal is between Option A, 30 to 33 Cumix Option B, 30 to 60 Cumix Option C, over 60 Cumix Option D, over 100 Cumix Answer is Option C, over 60 Cumix Question number 12 the state of the soil when plants fail to extract sufficient water for their requirements, is Option A, 
maximum saturated point. Option B, permanent wilting point. Option C, ultimate utilization point. Option D, none of these. Answer is option D none of these. Question number 13. The depth of the crest of a scouring sluice below the crest of a head regulator is generally kept. Option A, 0.20 meters. Option B, 1.20 meters. Option C, 2.20 meters. Option D, 3.20 meters. Answer is option B 1.20 meters. Question number 14. When a canal and a drainage approach each other at the same level, the structure so provided, is. Option A, an aqueduct. Option B, a siphon. Option C, a level crossing. Option D, inlet and outlet. Answer is option C, a level crossing. Question number 15. If the irrigation efficiency is 80%, conveyance losses are 20% and the actual depth of watering is 16 centimeters, the depth of water required at the canal outlet is option A, 10 centimeters, option B, 15 centimeters, option C, 20 centimeters, option D, 25 centimeters. Answer is option D, 25 centimeters. Question number 16. For the design of major hydraulic structures on the canals, the method generally preferred to, is based on Option A, Bly's theory Option B, Electrical analogy method Option C, The relaxation method Option D, Costless method of independent variables Answer is Option D, Costless method of independent variables Question number 17 the structure constructed to allow drainage water to flow under pressure through an inverted siphon below a canal is called Option A, siphon. Option B, super passage. Option C, super aqueduct. Option D, siphon aqueduct. Answer is Option D, siphon aqueduct. Question number 18. To hold hydraulic jumps, baffle walls are provided in. Option A. Sarda. Type Falls. Option B. English Type Falls. Option C. Montague Type Falls. Option D. Vertical Type Falls. Answer is Option B. English Type Falls. Question number 19. The field capacity of a soil is 25%, its permanent wilting point is 15% and specific dry unity weight is 1.5. If the depth of root zone of a crop is 80 centimeters, the storage capacity of the soil is Option A, 8 centimeters Option B, 10 centimeters Option C, 12 centimeters Option D, 14 centimeters Answer is Option C, 12 centimeters Question number 20 If water table is comparatively high the irrigation canal becomes useless, due to Option A, large amount of seepage Option B, water logging of the cultivated areas Option C, uncertain water demand Option D, all the above Answer is Option D, all the above Thanks for watching video